So to date, I think we've done a really, really good job of finding aspiring talent on YouTube and giving them a chance to build an audience worldwide. But now I think we are starting to focus in 2009 on premium content with the launch of shows and movies, the increasing number of premium partners that are joining the site, some really exciting collaborations with Sundance as well as the Tribeca Film Festival, studios like Sony, MGM, Lionsgate. Uh, it's become clear that having a place where all of that content can be discovered is crucial. The screening room was basically built to uh, give an audience to filmmakers who were creating short films and feature films that were playing the film festival circuit. A lot of the films have been Academy Award nominated, Academy Award winners, film festival winners. We've worked sponsors in, I think, in really interesting ways. What we did was came up with themes for the program that, was, that were important to their brand messages. So for Lionsgate, that included um, a segment on religious satires that tied into Bill Maher's documentary, Religious. With Grey Goose, a month-long program around Black History Month, the response has been really overwhelming in terms of video views, uh, millions of views to this content in the last month, tons of comments. Project Direct um, was launched in 2007, and that year we worked with Fox Searchlight and Jason Reitman, who had just produced Juno, and Hewlett Packard. Filmmakers had to create a short film that dealt with a character facing a situation above his or her maturity level, which was similar to Juno. They had to include the passing of a photograph, which related to HP. We were working with their printing division at the time. And they also had to include a line of dialogue. I demand an explanation for these shenanigans. What do you have to say? What do you have to say being HP's tagline that year? And the winning filmmaker was sent to the Sundance Film Festival. So in 2008, the Sundance Film Festival actually approached us directly and they were interested in celebrating their 25th anniversary. And so we worked with them to develop a competition where users were able to create a short film using three props that had been made famous by iconic Sundance films. That could be a wedding dress from Muriel's Wedding, a skateboard from Lords of Dogtown, Tater Tots from Napoleon Dynamite, and then a third prop that was a red phone, and that was chosen by AOL Movie Phone, who was the program's sponsor. Being able to actually have the brands be a part of the creative challenge, it's been really interesting to see users engage with that in a way that you know doesn't necessarily feel like an advertisement, but yet brings them a lot closer to the brands that are associated associated with the program. We were really overwhelmed by the response to Project Direct this year. It was open to users in seven countries. They only had a month to create their films and we still received hundreds and hundreds of submissions. After we announced the finalists, the films were viewed millions of times. Tens of thousands of people voted for them. There were views from as many as 170 different countries. We were able to extend the reach of the content that we feature in these programs well beyond YouTube and into the Google Content Network. And we're also able to target potential content creators, potential viewers, voters. What's great is these are programs that already exist, that already have a base on YouTube who you know, anticipates fresh content, anticipates fresh challenges, and they're not just here in the US, they're all over the world. They're highly customizable, and advertisers and marketers can really engage users with their brand well beyond just a 30-second spot.